back to the Citizen Channel our player ratings for uh, City 2 Brentford 1 yes it was hard work please check out my uh, story of the game that'll be available on the Monday uh, also there'll be a a Pepsi 11 for the Milan game coming out on Monday as well so I'm uh, away at the moment so everything's a little bit rushed because I'm flying home later on today in a, around about 15 hours time so uh, yeah I'm just going to do this player rating show and uh, obviously I'll sort out the story of the game when I get back early hours of Monday morning and uh, for you on Monday lunchtime so uh, please uh, seek that out if you are new to the channel push those subscribe buttons we're usually a bit more cityfied in the in the shirts and in the background but uh, not today so we're gonna have a look with Simon Bukowski the Manchester Evening News see what he thought see what I thought there's a lot of positivity about about yesterday I was a little bit uh, a little bit mixed in myself uh, for the game certain players uh, not outstanding but uh, I do sort of look at one football's player ratings as well even though I do Simon Pekoski for the Manchester Evening News and they're, they're usually quite generous and I sort of have a quick, usually have a quick look at that and sometimes it makes me sort of change my views a little bit but uh, this is the first game I've missed at the Etihad for uh, a number of years so um, I had to watch it on a, on a good stream so it was okay, no problems with the stream which uh, isn't always the case is it if you're having to watch abroad but uh, We'll get on with it anyway, the stuff the ratings. Let's start with Edison. Simon said, not great for the opening goal, but brilliant after that with his saves. His decision-making, his distribution, particularly the kick that created the second goal, a fantastic assist, wasn't it? And, oh, well, Haaland did his bit as well, of course he did. He's given me an eight, says Simon. Yeah, I've, I've given him seven and a half. I'm not going to blame him too much for that first goal, but he's got to command his own six-yard box, but I don't think he's going to learn that. If, he's, if he doesn't know that now, he's not going to learn it. He's far too old, long in the tooth. Uh, probably isn't. I mean, you know, a good good coach will probably teach him a bit more. But he's got to be a bit more commanding in his six yard box. But I, I'm I'm more blame Stones for that. I thought Stones' effort was absolutely pathetic, to be honest with you. But we'll talk about Stones in a minute. As I say, apart from that goal, I thought Edison was fine. So I give him a seven and a half. Simon give him an eight. Walker, Simon said, all over the place at the back. Not picking men up at the far post and getting mixed up with stones over who should cover what. Yeah, them two. It's as though they never played against with each other, isn't it? The way they played. Um, I'm not going to be as bad as Simon. He's given him a five. I'll give him a five point five. I thought he and Stones, yeah, um, a bit disconcerting. Not that they just not played together for England recently because Walker wasn't in the squad, but uh, they are better than that. Um, and of course, he went for glory late on with a shot that went over the bar didn't he, or hit the roof of the net, but. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't like Walker shooting from distance. If you watch my vlogs, you know, you know that over the years anyway. So, yeah, a five from Simon. I'm going to give Walker a 5.5. Stonesy, uh, Simon said, probably the most culpable for the goal. He was. And made too many errors in the game for City to be comfortable. Uh, yeah, again, Simon's given him a five. Again, I've, I've given the same score as Walker, a 5.5. Just a horrible start from Stones. That, that reminded me a bit of his early stuff where he, he was far too calm. He's got to be a bit more dynamic and we know he is. Uh, just a little bit worrying but again, he's not had much time in that position, has he? So we could probably forgive him but uh, yeah, fortunately it didn't cost us, did it? So uh, yeah, just everything he did was just seemed a bit like, too deliberate to me, Stones. And he's, that was horrible. It was a horrible error to make in the first 25 seconds of a football match. So I give him a 5.5. Simon give him a 5. And Kanji Simon says, City's most accomplished defender, solid at the back and happy pushing forward in possession. Uh, yeah, he was a standout in our defenders. Uh, Simon's given him a 7. Head and shoulders above the rest for me. I give him a 7 as well. Lewis was an interesting one. Uh, Simonson gave his man too much uh, space for the early goal. He did. Worked well afterwards and worked hard afterwards, but taken off at half time, yeah. Uh, I, I thought he was, it was that role that he, I think he more or less played for England into the other night, but yeah, I think uh, we've given Walker and Stones his hesitation. I think he was thrown under the bus a little bit by Pep for this one, and he wasn't going down that left hand side, of course, with KDB. Grealish up there, he wasn't really allowed to the, sort of that movement either, so he'll, he'll want to forget that one. He's better than that. I just think uh, Pep made a bit of an error playing Lewis at left back for this one against uh, not a bad Brentford front line, but uh, yeah, so I will forgive him. Uh, Simon's given him a six, I give him a six as well. Kovacic overrunning midfield, says Simon, as Brentford won every second ball in the opening stages, and a clumsy tackle was one of the last acts before a half time change. He's given a six. I give him a six. Not one of his greatest games, one of his lesser games, perhaps, uh, in what I thought was a little bit of a leggy midfield. KDB 
Gundo, who's not played many minutes, and uh, Kovacic, who's done re really well in that Rodri role, of course. But uh, it just worried me a little bit. We didn't have much much speed and pace in that little middle part of the pitch. And, of course, Kevin was allowed to roam a bit further forward. But, uh, yeah, um, I'll give him a six. Simon will give him a six as well, but not, not one of his best games. Gundo improved as the game went on, said Simon, linking well with Harlan in the second half. He's given a seven. I think Simon's been very generous. I thought it was very sluggish for me. Um, he did a couple of nice things going forward, but I remember him losing the ball in key, key parts of the pitch a couple of times. So uh, I didn't think it was his greatest game. He's got to get back in the swing of it, of course. But as I said, alongside Kovacic and KDB, I thought, again, Pep took a bit of a chance with that one, playing Gundo as well in the middle. But... As we will comment on the story of the game, I think Pep had a big, big eye on uh, Milan on Wednesday night for this one. So Gundogan, Simon gave him a seven. I, I'm going to give him a six. I can't give him a seven. De Bruyne, Simon said, nothing came off as he as he wanted in the game with loose touches and rash passes, scuppering any chance of glory. So Simon gave him a six. I've gone half a point better. I thought it was an almost day from KDB. He could have had a couple of assists under different circumstances. The the goal, the one for Haaland's equaliser, of course, took a slight deflection. Whether it would have found Haaland anyway, I'm not too sure. But uh, an almost day for Kevin. But as I say, the, I, I've said it before with Kovacic and Gundo in that middle with him. I, I was, a, I just thought it was a little bit, bit lacking for me. Uh, but I thought I didn't think he was that bad. So I give him a six point five. Simon give him a six. Savvy, yeah, interesting one. Always driving towards goals. Said Simon gave City purpose in the final third. He was booked for diving needlessly to try and win a penalty. Though, yeah, I don't like that. We don't have, our, we don't like our players diving. Uh, Simon's given him a six. Uh, he had opportunities to get good balls, and I think he spurned one or two. I thought he did all right. He was always a threat, of course, in the same way Doku does. He's, Doku's a threat, even though when it's not quite coming off. And of course, Savvy, Savvy is coming back again. I'm a bit worried defensively. He's an absolute waste of time. I'd rather him not to come back, in fairness, because I think he causes more problems than he, than he adds. But I'll give him a six anyway, but uh, he could have probably done a little bit better. Grealish, Simon said, remains the king of the final pass or shot that nearly comes off, but there was enough intent and quality for him on the left. Yeah, he wasn't great for me. You know me, I was a big Grealish fan season one. Uh, and of course, everyone sort of jumped on board season two. Uh, but Simon's given a seven. I don't think it was that great. He held the ball. I didn't lose it too much, but he wasn't great for me. He had a couple of shots blocked, I think, that were perhaps on target. But unless I can see anything in a couple of days when I watch back some of the highlights, he's going to get a six from me, a seven from Simon. Of course, let me know what you think, guys, as well. Hartland, Simon said, outstanding. It's a good job we've got him, isn't it, really? Let's be honest about it. Uh, it's other people who have to step up over the next, uh, the coming weeks and months, of course. Two brilliant goals, a performance that drags City into three points, onto three points, all after a difficult week, said Simon. Yes, he's given a nine. I'm not going to argue with that. I like Flecken as a goalkeeper, and I think he, Flecken denied him his hat trick, which would have been set of more records, of course, for early. Shame it didn't happen, but uh, yeah. He was outstanding today. He was the difference between the two teams. The difference between us getting three points and not getting three points. You know, all right, he needed he needs help. Of course, he does. But that second goal, uh, saying never mind the Edison assist, the way he, he won it, absolutely brilliant. And you don't, you can't go one on Ireland's. If you go, if you have two guys, one off him, one sort of marking him, one off him. He struggles, but if you're going to give him a one-on-one -on -one chance, a lot, a lot of defenders are going to struggle. So he was my man of the match. I think he was City's man of the match. I'm going to give him a nine as well. And uh, Simon gave him a nine. Uh, a couple of the subs, yeah, did, came on for a while. Rodri, uh, Simon, he came on in the 46th minute, of course, for Kovacic. Quiet but calm and influence. I thought he was excellent. I think he was. I absolutely agree. If much better looking than Kovacic was in that role. And, and we know that anyway, don't we? So I'm not telling you anything anything you don't know. Simon, give him a seven. He was on for more than half an hour. I'll give him a seven as well. Gavardi, all again, the old Mr. Smooth, if you like, our Rolls Royce. Yeah, pushed up, said Simon. They left to allow Grealish to drift inside. I thought it was excellent. Again, I thought Gavardi had a great half as well, 46 he came on in 46 minutes for uh, Lewis, of course. A bit of a shame for Lewis, but he'll recover. Uh, yeah, an accomplished uh, second 45 for me, Cavardi. Also, I'm not going to argue with Simon's seven. I'm going to give him a seven as well. Diaz for Stones, 84 minutes. No time, but uh, yeah, it's nice to see Diaz. Perhaps uh, it was either way to go for Milan. We'll talk about that in the story of the game and uh, obviously the Pepsi 11 for the Milan game. Bernardo for Grealish on 84 minutes. No time, but... 
Bernardo's Bernardo and Nunes of course came on very very late for the last couple of minutes uh, replacing Savi. As I said I think all round I think there's no doubt man of the match uh, had to be Haaland uh, closely followed perhaps by Edison or, or followed I won't say closely followed uh, by Edison and I think the second half Rodri and Gvardiol performance is up there as well. Uh, uh, that, that's my sort of judgment on it. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know your rates. It'd be great to hear. I'll be back in normal surroundings next time you see me for the story of the game, which uh, we'll have a look back at uh, the serious and the not so serious uh, look at the City 2 Brentford 1 game in that. And of course, as I said, that'll be Monday, uh, hopefully lunchtime ish. If I get a little bit of sleep, I won't be arriving, arriving home till. Well, no delays, uh, about two in the morning uh, when we arrive back at the airport anyway. So if I get bed, get to bed for our three, four o'clock, grab three or four hours, I might be able to get the story of the game out for lunchtime. And then, of course, Pepsi 11 will be out probably tea time on Monday as well. So join me for that as we look forward to uh, the visit of Milan, of course, which I'm fairly sure Pep had one eye on for this game. So join me for that, guys. If you're interested in saying, supporting the channel, give us a like. Uh, we do have sponsors at the moment. I've got a Piat 6505 on my current sponsor, Little eBay Shops for movie posters and DVDs. Check that out, guys. There'll be a link in the description below. Uh, great to have your support. And I'll be back very, very soon in Blighty. I'll be away from the sun. I'll be back, back to the coldness although i won't mind it's been a warm warm 11 days i've been away it's been really hot it's actually got hotter as the as time's gone on it's not got cooler so there you go i'll see you all very very soon hope you enjoyed this anyway let me know your thoughts and comments on the player ratings until we meet again that's one thing don't i please stay safe blues come on city bye for now